Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the functions f of g, g of f, f of f, and g of g. So first we're going to start with f of g. This is f of, what is g of x? 4x minus 3. So we just have to plug this in. So we have the square root of x becomes 4x minus 3, and then we add 1. Simplifying this, we get x, the square root of 4x minus 2. What is the domain of this? Well, we can't take the square root of a negative number. So therefore, 4x minus 2 has to be greater than or equal to 0. And we can now simplify this. 4x is greater than or equal to 2. Dividing by 4, this is going to give us x is greater than or equal to 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half. So therefore, x has to be greater than or equal to 1 half. This is f of g. Next, g of f. This is g of the square root of x plus 1. Therefore, we do 4 times the square root of x plus 1, since we're just plugging it in for x, minus 3. And now, this square root has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Solving for x, x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. This is the domain and function for g of f. Next, we have f of f. This is equal to f of the square root of x plus 1. Therefore, this is the square root of the square root of x plus 1 plus 1. So now we have two square roots to worry about, where we have to make sure the larger square root, what's inside is negative, and the smaller one. So the smaller one we already did, but I'll just do it again. x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. However, given that we're not inputting some invalid um, value, so for any value that satisfies this, the square root of this number is going to be positive. Therefore, we have a positive number plus 1. Therefore, the whole square root is never going to be negative, right? The whole thing inside the square root is negative, never going to be negative. It's either going to be invalid for a number that we can't have right here, or it's going to be positive. Therefore, this is the only restriction. There is another way to see this, right? This, we can say the square root of x plus 1 plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the square root of x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to negative 1. If we subtract 1 from both sides, this cancels, and we get negative 1. And again, the square root of this, the square root of a number, is always greater than a negative number. So this is true for all real numbers. So there's no more restrictions. It's only that x has to be greater than or equal to 1. And finally, g of g. This is g of 4x minus 3. So we're plugging in 4 times 4x minus 3, minus 3. And we can just simplify this. 4 times 4 is 16x. 4 times negative 3 is minus 12, minus 3. So this is 16x minus 15. There's no square roots, there's no restrictions. So this is just all real numbers. So this is f of g, g of f, f of f, and f of g for these functions and their domains.